Hi there, you are going to join me on a trip to Goodwill. This was an interesting trip. I, I found some really interesting things. I wish that there were more of these figurines. A uh, whole nativity with those style and pattern I think would be really pretty. This was an interesting <laughs> caveman Santa Claus. And then down in this basket, they had a whole bunch of ornaments that looked old, but, and I may be wrong, but in my opinion, that was a shaker, in my opinion, they look like the newer ornaments that you can find at Target that have a vintage look to them. And so I thought, these look contemporary. I'm going to leave them here. And I felt that way because they were in such great shape, even though the style of them was definitely vintage. Unfortunately, there was only one of these and there was a little nick on the rim of the can. I think this is a candle holder. I like the style and the color of that. And in this group of hobbyist pieces, there wasn't anything that really stood out uh, in kind of like kitschy or, you know, weird. <laughs> so I left that then there and then I'm shaking this to see if there's a little trinket inside and I didn't hear anything so I didn't even bother looking anymore. I do like to sell trinkets with the tr a trinket box with the trinket in it. Here were two cloisonne vases. One that one is marked China and the other one has a blue bottom. And I have learned that the ones that have blue bottom and then it's written in red, it says China are the older ones. And these little figurines of eagles I thought were sweet, but I couldn't find any markings on them. So I kept those on the shelf, left the left those <laughs> it's not my shelf. I left those on the shelf. And then the, here's a Boyd's Bear and Friends, but unfortunately the mummy has lost his arm. Guess what this is? Yep, Beaumont Brothers Pottery. There's the BBP. The cow, uh, kind of liked it, but I didn't like the glaze. The glaze on it really had kind of swirls going through it and had that big brown mark. So I did leave that there. I wanted to know who was the maker of Jesus and this child figurine, but it was just... A made in China one. So that stayed there. These I first I thought were napkin holders. The The shape of them, it looks like you could put a napkin. Doesn't it look like you could put a napkin in there? And I wonder if that's what it was for. I wonder if they were place settings for your napkin. You know when you get fancy cloth napkins. This was interesting. I thought it was a wood carved piece, but I think it was mass produced. And this was missing some of the condiment pieces. So I didn't pick that up. You're probably thinking, where are the interesting things? <laughs> They're coming, I promise. Let's see, it's, it's somewhere in this area. You're gonna have to see if you can spy it first. There was this cute plate. It was made by Lennox. It did have um, the S written backward on cookies and then the S in Santa written backwards, that kind of bothers me. The, the teacher in me is just like, no, write your S's correctly. I did take the time to look up sold comps, but I didn't really want to deal with a big box and a big plate. And then this bag of ornaments, there were some princess house crystal ornaments. So I did take the time to look up sold comps for those to see if there was anything that was you know outstanding and sought after. Um, but then I moved on and this Christmas tree card holder, the graphics caught my attention and look, I won. Do you see it? See the praying hands? <laughs> Two points for you if you saw it right away. Uh, this is really cool. I like how it, you can actually use it or you could use the envelope that it came in as part of your vintage Christmas display. This is really, really tall and holds a ton of cards. All right, it's gonna to start to get interesting here. I found a huge bag of Waterford crystal ornaments and I decided to go through them and start to show you them as well. And I thought, gosh, should I get this? This is a huge bag. Look at this, it was full. And I decided, I went through some of them and then I realized that they were in really great shape. So I didn't show you every single one, but at the end of the video, you get to see them. They're very pretty. Some of them don't sell for crazy money and some of them are sought, well sought after. And so I decided to just go for it and try them out. With the Christmas holidays fast approaching, people might be decorating, maybe they drop a, an ornament <laughs> and they need a replacement. 
whoa, sorry, we're getting real close up and personal there. And so uh, that's why I decided to buy the whole bag of Waterford ornaments. They also had some new records. I do have a record player. It is fun to listen to records on a record player. There is uh, Rosemary. She used to be in the Dick Van Dyke show. Uh, I thought about picking some of them up, but I do have quite a collection already, and so I decided to not really dig too much through them, but it is fun looking at the graphics on the records. Again, in the Christmas section, looking to see if there's anything that catches my attention. Then this caught my attention because of the graphics on it. I thought it had a nice vintage look to it. Isn't that pretty? I'm not quite sure if it's old or contemporary to make it look old, but regardless, I thought it was pretty. This was a nice paperweight, very heavy. I was looking for a signature. If there's a signature, I will, I would have picked that up, but it didn't. And then I thought this was interesting, a little percolator knob. Think how this has survived. <laughs> I spied this bird and I really liked the design on it. I couldn't really decipher the signature, so I did a Google lens. I took a picture of it on my phone and then sent it out to Google and it came back Victoria Littlejohn. The only thing that is wrong is with it is the loop that is broken, but other than that, it's a great looking bird. I wish there was more of these. This was such a great looking mug, a melamine or a plastic vintage coffee cup. I was disappointed there was only one of those. I thought that was really, really cool looking. These were plastic. I was hoping they were glass, but they were not. So because they were plastic, that stayed on the shelf. There's a little fluff Easter bunny. Those are so cute. I think I like them because I had them when I was little. So it brings back childhood memories. You always look, have to look in the back because you never know. I thought maybe, oh, is this uh, Artisania Rinconata? But it wasn't. Just a little resin horse. And then they had these two plates. And I thought, this looks like Pensbury pottery. To me, that's what I thought it was. And then I flipped it over and there you go. So these are handmade Pensbury pottery plates. You can see the signature here, LB original by Pensbury pottery. And they are dated. And I didn't look them up to see if they were worth anything because as a rule, I tend to not pick up collector's plates like this. But I thought, you know what? These are such a nice design. They should go over in the Christmas section. So I did some merchandising. <laughs> I put them over in the Christmas section, hoping that somebody might spy them and pick them up. I kind of skipped over this aisle when I first came in. So I wanted to make sure I looked at what they had added to it since I had first arrived in the store that day. I have a big red cardinal planter like this and um, they, they make me nervous to ship because the material is so thin. I did leave that there because I didn't really think the style of the bird. I, I think that's a quail. Maybe not a quail. It looks like a quail, but it's missing the little dooby dab thing. You will tell me what it is. You're yelling at me right now telling me what kind, of, what kind of bird that is. I thought these were super pretty. These had some age to them. They were very thin. I looked to see, and then I realized that there was another angel bell. I'm doing some of my own rearranging here. And then I realized that there was another set of cup and saucers. And I tend to not pick up, if, I think this is more of a plate and a cup, but because these had an age to them, definitely have age to them. And I really like the design of the bird. And I was hoping that there was a lithopane in the bottom of the mug, there is not. But that is why I decided to pick those up, make a little exception sometimes, and picked up the plate and cups to them. I think they're probably demi toss cups. <laughs> it's cute. I thought this little jar was adorable. When I did get it in the light box of truth, unfortunately, I did find two very tiny hairline cracks in the lid, but I would definitely use it and feel safe using it. So I'm gonna, of course, show that in the description, but it does have flaws to the lid. These, I believe, are Anchor Hawking. There's two of them, and I thought those were pretty fabulous looking. There was this 
milk glass bottle. I did look up the name of it. I know Andrew knows so much about glass bottles. I know nothing. <laughs> so I put it back on the shelf. I wasn't quite sure if this was a vase or a cup. I don't think it was an egg cup. Maybe it was a decorative vase, but it was half of a fish. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then here's another piece that some people are probably gonna be yelling at me. You should have gotten it. I thought this was fabulous. This is a Vera Bradley briefcase. It still had the strap inside that hadn't been used. It was $25. I do not need this for myself. If it was less, maybe I would have bought it and thought, well, I could put my camera in it. <laughs> but uh, I looked it up to see if it was worth buying for $25 to flip. And I didn't think it was. And the next day I happened to be at this Goodwill and it was gone, of course. But I didn't know that they made briefcases. I thought I kind of knew Vera Bradley and I, I don't. <laughs> I, there's always something new that comes up and then there were this uh, whole bin of baby doll shoes or not baby doll shoes these are uh, dolly shoes and it looked like someone had donated their supply from a doll store and so I thought those were pretty interesting I was looking through them to see if there was anything interesting they were they were they're priced pretty high but not you know for me but uh, um you know not complaining they for someone to come in and buy a pair of doll shoes. Those were a good price, I thought. This is a great book. I remember reading this book when I was little. And now we're giving it another once over, seeing if there's anything else on the shelves. I'm going to stand back and let you do some shopping here. What do you think? See anything? I found these. These were ceramic pieces, obviously. They were made to look like wood. They were both marked $6.99 they did not have a maker signature to them so i kind of think that these were hobbyist pieces i don't think these are merit you know california pottery or anybody like that i could be completely wrong they have that uh, treasure craft look to them really really great style of you know mid-century modern but i left those of course the little kitty cat figurines that one was kind of stuck to the shelf there uh, but there's nothing really there that kind of it's like, oh, take me home. But they were awfully cute little kitty cats. And then here's another look at the shelves for you. This was nice. I was seeing what they had for the price on it. I don't, oh, there it is, $3.99. I bet the glasses with that would look really, really pretty, nice and bright and happy. They had this out and it was marked $24.99. And I think this is a lamp. Is this a lamp? It looks like a lamp. Maybe a ceiling lamp. Maybe someone bought it and then changed their mind or got new ones or something. There's bins. I always look for the bins because I love bins. <laughs> you can do so much with a bin. I usually try to find them at auctions because they usually are cheap and usually the auctioneer's like, the bin itself is worth $5 to get people bidding on stuff. We're going to wrap up this trip to Goodwill by looking in the restocking bin to see if there is any hidden treasures in the bottom of it. Coming up next is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. I hope you are leaving a comment of something that I that I picked up that you liked or something that I missed on the shelves. When I picked up that ginger jar a couple weeks ago and so many of you spotted the little bowl that went with the ginger jar. You guys have such great eyes. Oh, I wish you were with me sometimes. You could be like, Dagny, there's the bowl that you need for your ginger jar. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.